video is all about taking care of yourself. That's step number one. To stress-free teaching, take care of yourself. What does that look like? You know, taking care of yourself is making sure that your personal needs are met. But then there's also three tips with a bonus that I want to share with you of making sure this happens. And so some things that I wrote down is number one, the most important thing to prevent stress while teaching is attending to your physical, mental, and emotional needs. It is so important that we are whole as a person, as a, you are a person. <laughs> and even though you are teaching and you're held accountable for some of us hundreds of students a day, um, you need to make sure that you're whole as a person. You need to make sure that mentally, emotionally and physically that your needs are being met and so what does that look like in our stress-free teaching planning guide I've shared some tips with you and you can download this and individualize this plan the stress-free teaching plan so that you can make sure that you're meeting your personal needs step number two is understanding your administrative details of your employment what are you accountable for what's the expectations of you as a teacher Sometimes we cross those boundaries and those expectations all the time. Make sure that you're always in the radar. This is something I always tell new teachers. Make sure you're always in the radar. Make sure that you're always doing your job. Not doing a whole bunch of extra, being above the radar, or not doing your job and being below the radar because that's when attention is drawn to you. And sometimes that's negative attention. So make sure no matter what, you're in the radar, that you're doing the administrative duties that are expected of you every single day. And step number three, you wanna make sure that you're always providing opportunities for your personal and professional growth and renewal. Learn as much as you can while you can. What happens is you begin to, sometimes we get complacent and we get content and that can become irritating when you, your spirit man, you as a person, is you're being called to more. And so you get stagnant and you get content in where you are and it, becomes, it causes a sense of frustration. So you wanna make sure that you're always growing. You're you're always evolving. You're always strengthening those areas that you're weak because this helps you evolve not only as a person, but also as an educator. And then the bonus tip that I wanted to give you is help others. When you've mastered this way of becoming, you know, whole as a person and, and you know, getting the hang of how to, you know, create this stress-free teaching, show other educators how to do this. And this will help you evolve as an educator and it will also help you always take care of yourself.